Good evening, everyone. Now, I'm back from, from Kerry. I had a great few days down in Kerry. The puck is back out in the wild, safe and sound. Had a great time, so no bother on him. He's fat as a fool. And, uh, yeah, so all is well down there and all is well back up here in Cavan. So basically now, uh, the cattle were at home for the last few days, uh, as I was saying in the last video I made before I left for Kerry. And um, they're coming back down here now um, tomorrow. The grass is all ate at home. So, uh, well, not exactly. They're not coming onto this field. They're coming onto uh, that hill there across the road. But I'm actually just down here now. I was tidying up a bit of fence that I left out. Um, this, I wanted to show you two bits of fields. This field here that I'm on now is the field that I made a video of. It was the field where I had the pony on all winter long for six months. And she had a it down to the dirt, down to the clay, and uh, lots of rushes left. So I had the cattle on it here on the 23rd of July. And if you just look at the lovely grass that's after coming back. Now this has been resting now for three weeks. So we can see lovely, lovely green shoots there coming. Now obviously it's nowhere near ready, in my opinion, for a regrazing. Um, but this has recovered absolutely beautifully, even in the drought that we're having. Well, the real dry weather, the hot weather. And these white willows have actually come back lovely as well. In three weeks time, they've fully leafed again. So that has definitely made me think about putting in them willow whips on the wetter fields that I have, because they just come back lovely. That has grown nearly an inch a week. They had that destroyed at bear. Now I'm just gonna start this quad here now. So this is the place where we had lovely wildflowers. I topped here, there was all the rushes and I didn't top up there where them thistles are. Now I'm not going to drive across and have a look because I'm a bit like uh, fresh snow. I hate to walk on it. I won't touch that grass now. I actually didn't even like driving in there. But I'll drive out the same tracks again. So that to me now is uh, untouched grass and it will not be touched until the cows come in. So I'm going to start this quad. And I'm going to drive back out because on the far side on, of this gate I have a different kind of a field. This place here was the, I made a video about this field as well. Can you see it? Hang on. Knock that off. No. This field here I made about uh, reclaiming uh, for practically zero cost. Now this was all rushes in the middle there. This hadn't been grazed for, or for let's say 10 years. It hadn't been grazed in a long, long, long time. So our place is there. And we have a place there. So this was the field in the middle that was left lying. And I was talking to the owner and he let me in to graze it and clean it up. So this is what we're after doing. So basically, down the end there now you can see there's a lot of rushes still standing. I left them in there loose because I couldn't get fencing it properly with the amount of drains that was in it. And I did not know the lie of the land. But I had them in here, high density. Uh, so they hammer down the rushes here very well. And now you can see this was grazed uh, on the 24th of July. So it has three weeks and a day's rest. And look, I'll do a little bit of a walk. 
you can see our rushes there are knocked and the lovely grass that's growing up. There's rushes flattened. And what we have now is regrowth of grass and no rushes coming up. Very, very, very few. So the rushes are down. There we go. The rushes are all rotting in. You can see them there. That's them lying there. So they're all hammered into the ground and all we get back is lovely lush green grass. The old rush smothers out the, the new rush. But the grass is tougher. And we're getting that lovely, lovely grass coming up that's almost fit for dairy cows, in my opinion. So that's beautiful. I'm very happy with that. Three weeks rest. No reseed, no plowing, no nonsense. Cost me. What did it cost me? Nothing. A little bit of petrol, two litres of petrol. So you can see the amount of uh, stuff that's under that foot of mine. There's still a bounce. All them rushes all bent down. So I'm very pleased with how that turned out. Now up there now obviously is not as good because I hadn't the same uh, density. Um, as I was saying. But now that I know it, it will get hammered the next time. So they probably won't be back here for another, maybe six weeks. I have uh, 23 acres ahead of me, full of grass. This is the least rested of the whole farm in the middle of August. The least rested. In other words, this is the least grass I have of the whole farm. So I have 23 acres up there. And then we have 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. You know, so the barest fields I have, besides the ones at home, is this here. And that is just exactly where you want to be coming into autumn. We're halfway through August. We're past peak growth. But there's still a lot of growing to do. So I'm going to get around this whole farm again, quick. And... Uh, Get it growing again now for winter. So I'm very pleased with that. So look at we leave it at that for now. Them rushes now are all dying away. Love it. I'm gonna have the cows down. Can you see actually in between them trees there's a road up there? There's two fields either side. They're gonna go in there for a night in each field and then up and away. So that is the situation. So we are the 12th of August. So no cattle in this video, but there will be in the next. So for now, I'll say uh, good luck and goodbye.